Oh, morning, Malk. My order is a bacon, sausage, and egg, please. Okay, well, there's the yeah, barbecue. Get cooking. Oh, you were standing right next to you. I thought he was going to make one. Yeah, I was just making it. I've been cleaning it. You're, you're the cook. Oh, sh shocking. Right, well, welcome back to Corpy, everybody. Yeah, Hopefully welcome back. everyone is well. And firstly, as always, thank you to everyone for watching and liking, commenting, and obviously subscribing. And uh, remember to smash the like button on both channels, please, because it would be massively appreciated. It really is. So I think this is... Da -da -da -da! Drum roll, please. Episode 50. Wee. Brilliant. We made it. We made it. Is Happy that it then? Is right that what's finished then? Yep, not... we're done. Right, bye. See, See you later. later. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> that's one minute, ten seconds done. Right, we're finished. Right. Well, I've no, actually had no, no. Uh, I've had somebody comment on mine saying that this ep this series has to go through at least episode two hundred. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> me. We yeah. might have to turn it into a live stream system for us then. Oh, maybe. Point. Maybe. Cranky. Right. Um, I've got a sorghum field to harvest. I think, haven't I? You have yet, yeah. and Which I've got the oh, no, uh, soybeans. soybeans. I've got the old favourite of marking out a new field. You have indeed. So where mm -hmm. we where we put the new field? Uh, so where we cut the meadow grass in the last episode, yeah. uh, we're going to get right, that okay. into a field because eventually it'll get joined up to the other. Um... Oh, actually, if we just skip over there in a minute, I had a thought a bit later about talking about putting a road system in there. Okay. Yeah, Cause well... I oh. think we need a, a better way to get into our new production village right okay so i think we need to have an outskirts road yeah then, that's no problem I well think. we'll definitely have to maybe do a little bit more road work for um the production area yeah okay I, mean, I don't think this sorghum harvest is going to take very long to answer with you no oh. can i get to that i don't think i can malk you've left it in a weird angle with no, it, it, I no. don't. I don't leave it a weird angle. It does that whenever you disconnect it. It turns off to the really? to the yeah. It's uh, a bit annoying, but that's what it does when you disconnect it. It turns off to the right or the left, whichever way you're looking yeah. at it. Oh, I can't get to that. I have to get a tractor to that. Okay, right. Well, I'll go and make a start on this um, this new field. What I'll probably do is just mark it out and then run around what I've marked out using play just to create a field and then I can leave that up to a worker to finish off right okay have we got have we got bread to sell oh it's November uh, is it November or December bread I don't I don't know we might we might need to put that time saving thingy mod on actually haven't we yeah let me have a quick look at bread hopefully everybody enjoyed our two live streams last week oh December because we actually got two in last week, didn't we? We did, yeah. Right, it's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I quite enjoy doing the live streams, especially when you've got a few folk in the game with you and um, more people off your Discord. It definitely, definitely makes it better. God, look at the size of that blooming pasta production. It's towering above the trees. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. Yes, done it. Right. Okay, I'll use the Eicher then. Okay. And I'll just, I'll just literally take this header to the field with the Eicher instead. I think because at the moment, yeah, it's not going well with the combine. Oh dear. So right, I've got it sorted. We've got old Eicher got it out. I said when we get build that next farm over there, we need to get some bigger. We need to get some bigger drive-through sheds. Yeah. Definitely. So you can yeah. drive straight through, leave the, leave it where it is if that makes sense. So you yeah. just drop it off, and then obviously put the combine either in front, and then you can put both headers side by side. Then can't you? Yeah. I mean, That's I do like I, I do it. like those ones we've got, but they're they're not really suitable for the size of equipment we're going to end up with. I don't think. No, and no, I there's some there's some nice shed mods around, so we'll do a bit yeah. of digging around when we do that. We will. So we are we are wanting to desperately get this farm moved I think one of the big yeah. things anything we need to do is probably put another greenhouse down and then get rid of the one we've got here I know we put some water in it but the water's free so yeah. it doesn't really matter no. no so I mean that area 
where all our buildings are now. We're going to just make that into a field, I think, aren't we, for grass? I think so. Make it a dedicated grass field. Yeah. Um, and then obviously it'll just be a nice... It'll be a nice bit of an environment to actually just have that. And then we're only going over there with the grassland equipment, aren't we? Yeah. And a bale loader. So it shouldn't be too bad. No. So I've got a little bit of good news here. I haven't seen any big stones. It looks like they're all small stones. So there'll be well, no stone good. picking in this episode. We can probably, if we get this sampled and get it limed, we'll certainly get it planted with something in the next episode. But, you know, who you knows? Think? We might even have time to do it today. Okay, well, I'm just literally, there we go, literally just about to start doing this, get my okay. head around the buttons again. So, right, are we, at some point, we're not going to flip this field straight away, are we? Uh, no, so, I don't think so, no. Did we ever decide what we were going to do? Are we going to extend it into the forest area, or are we going to join it up with the other one? I think we should extend into the forest area. Yeah. Anyway, which is to which is to the right as I just pan round here. So over there where them trees are, we need to cut all them down. I think in a bit of a logging episode, and then it'll top the the mill back up, won't it? Yeah. And then we can extend this field. I mean, it doesn't matter if we leave this field till the next episode to do the logging. Right. Because in theory, we could probably get that other field that you're doing now sorted out. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because we were replacing one field with another and make this bigger. And then potentially, I think, we will probably join these two together. Okay. But you were using maximum amount of the land then, aren't we? Then we've got two big fields on our original plots of land, like this one and the soybean. Yeah. We've got an extended... We still need to do some extension on that other um, field that we did last time, didn't we? That we put sunflowers in, because we need to go further, closer to the farm again the new farm right yeah and then obviously we need to then potentially look at changing the other field don't we as well mm -hmm. it's yeah. no, it's, it's good. so i mean one thing we are trying to do because we, we are been we have been monitoring a little bit but obviously it'd be good to get some feedback is we're trying to do a little bit more chatting yeah and planning and talking to each other during these episodes rather than just going straight into time lapses and jump cuts yeah so it would be interesting to get everybody's feedback on that we think we're getting slightly better engagement um, yeah, I think with people and in the algorithm to say that people are watching for longer and retention seems to be better because we're chatting and just planning stuff but obviously you know if an awful lot of people turn around and say no do some chatting and then go in some time lapses and bits and bobs then you know we can we can do but as we're getting bigger kit and we're planning more and we've got stuff to talk about fs25 mm -hmm. stuff in the series live streams etc we thought it just quite good to be chatting but i know out of both of us i'm probably the chattier one definitely yeah I i've never been known for saying a lot right okay well <laughs> I'll make up for it then, should I? Yeah, you definitely do. <laughs> that's why you like that's why you like me on the live streams, I'm telling you. So um, Oh. Is the have you have you marked out a custom field? So I not? just did uh headland, um I went round freehand and then now I'm just kind of retracing my steps, plotting the new field course and then I'll set a worker off. Right, I get a set a worker off and then we'll I could probably do with it some point. You need an unload. A... Not yet, I'm on it 35%. Okay. So, I'm on first headland, so I'll do another headland, and it won't be that long, I don't think, until yeah. this is about done, to be honest with you, because it's one of them interesting shaped fields. It's okay, but mm -hmm. it's not the biggest yielding field either, is it? No, it's not. No, it doesn't have the best um... soil, I don't think. No, I don't think it does. But this is going all right. So what uh, what FS25 news have we got since our last episode? Uh, well, uh, so this uh, AI farm thing farm with the, 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 the yeah the the AI thing I've heard a bit about the the in-game characters are going to lip sync. 
Well, they're going to have they're going to have facial expressions. Yeah. Eyes are going to move, cheeks are going to move, mouth going to move, eyebrows are going to move, and potentially someone in our Discord, in the GM Discord, Grey Man Discord. Feel free to join. Uh, Discord links in both video descriptions, hopefully. I think um, it is. Yeah. Mention mention that obviously you might potentially then be able to interact with the NPCs now. I don't know if that's going to work as like a story mode or whether that's just going to work as if you go and do a contract for someone you can now actually go and talk to the NPC Wow! rather than you just get it out of a contract screen you mean, I, be cool, you mean I've got to talk to a computer now well you, it'll, it'll, you'll probably <laughs> just go up to it and just say blah 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 won't it here's yeah. the mission go do this which I don't think is a bad thing I think that's pretty cool no no I think it'd be alright whether they're going to bring a full story mode in don't really know. I'm not sure, really. Right. What Maybe. do you think? I mean, do you think... Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting if... A story mode. I mean... Yeah, I don't you see why... They... Uh, yeah, I think it would be quite good. And especially if modders can then do some things with that and create storylines as part of, of maps. I think that opens up quite a lot of potential. So... Mm, true. I mean... Uh, he's, obviously, there's some other bits and bobs that came out of FarmCon on the Sunday, wasn't they? Yeah. Because did we, did we record? No, we didn't record, actually. So the, we have, we've had a bit more news out of FarmCon since, since the last recording, haven't we? But yeah. We chatted about it a lot on the live streams. That's why I'm getting confused. So, obviously, the dynamic ground is not... It's deformable, it's deformable to ground, not dynamic ground. Right, so so, that, so there's been no soil it, compaction. Is that what you're saying by that? Yeah, so it, it is, as Red Dog has said, it is like a shader. Yeah. So tyre tracks and tyre imprints and that will impact on the ground. And you'll, if you went over a ploughed field, you'll have a, a track over it that yeah. impacts in because they've changed the whole mesh and the way that the ground, ground deformation does work. So there'll be ground deformation and it is oh. controlled by weather and um, different other times of season. So in the winter, it won't deform so much if it's cold because it's frozen. If it's been raining a lot, yeah. it will deform more. And you'll also get mud on your tyres. Unlike dirt, it'll be proper mud. Right. And tyres are now being completely changed in the game. So a lot of people used to like to add custom tyres for mods and stuff. Now, it's really easy to do that. If you want a custom size, you just go into a, a single XML Mm -hmm. and put in what size you want and the game will sort it all out for you okay brilliant which means kind of nothing to you i suppose but it's pretty good and obviously the big one for everybody's probably well i've heard mixed reviews and i i think it's a good thing obviously gps and ai workers yeah so gps on console that's a big wow. one isn't it i mean that's good for the console players yeah yeah, and it looks like it will work on any field, whether it's a mod field or, an, or a field that you've created, because the game will know where you've created it. So right. it will do it automatically. So you rock up to it. You don't have to build it or plan it. You literally rock up. You don't have to do an A-B line or anything like that. You literally just go and say, I'm on the line. It beeps at you. Press a button. Go. Okay. It's engaged. I'm getting some... Just a, Sorry, just to put in here. I'm getting a few issues here where... You, it's hard. I've let the set the AI worker off, and it's doing the subsoiling. Right. But every now and again, a patch sort of goes back to being grass after it's gone over it. So we might have to touch up a few areas afterwards. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I don't really understand what it's doing. But is it one of them ones where we're gonna have to do mud and then turn it back into? Maybe something like that. But I think I think we'll be all right. I never had any issues when I drove around. It might just be an AI worker thing. I don't know, but. Um, anyhow, we'll see. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, um, and I'll see what I can do. So, do you need? Um, do you need a trailer I yet? Could, I could do with an empty. Okay. Yes, sir, please. I will come over now. But yeah, I mean that's that was the the big ones, wasn't it? GPS AI workers. Yeah. With a huge things out of FarmCon. Deform, de, deformable terrain, not dynamic terrain. Yeah. Um, weather effects. Obviously, vehicles are going to look wet. There's going to be rain on the ground. Yeah, so there's something that I noticed in one of the... You know all these sort of gameplay videos that's been released? Um, they're not obviously people playing it, it's obviously giants playing it. And I noticed yeah. that tractors, 
or vehicles leave tyre tracks on a normal road surface all the time. A bit like yeah, they do now. now. Yeah, and I just I think that's a mistake. They should have found a way around that because that doesn't happen. You don't drive down a road and um, leave yeah, tyre tracks, do you? Remember, it's it's what probably in beta. Yeah, possibly. I mean, well, I would have thought by now that mechanic would have been sorted. I wouldn't have thought. I would have just thought the detail would wouldn't be quite quite there, if anything. But um, then again, we did see that rice field that was still marked as a soybean field. So, oh, I got you just in time they were there. Probably you did. They were probably doing everything they could to make it look good and show yeah. the new feet. They've still got a lot of things to polish. Yeah. So it would, be, it would be nice that if they had dirt on the tyres, when it goes onto tarmac, it leaves a track and it that track gets fainter as the dirt wears off. But just to have a clean tyre on a tarmac road leaving black tyre tracks, yeah, I think I think they could have done better there. But you know, yeah, be, it, this would, these would be these would be small, minor little points in what looks like it's going to be an overall much better game. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. I've still got 3,000 so I'll get to the end I'll stop. Okay. And I'll unload completely and then I'll... Oh. Am I just... Mm, there's something funny with this flegel. Yeah, it's 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 a bit of a dodgy flegel, that is. You're just out. Do you, <laughs> you just stay there then, because I, I kind of moved and, yeah. and then you did. Okay, so sorry. You just stop there. I'll, you reverse back. Yeah, yeah that should do. be about right there. There we go. Got it. Lovely job. Go on a minute. Right, so... So, on other news, this actually might be the last episode that I ever record with you, you know. Why? Well, because I'm going to upgrade my computer tomorrow, and there might just be a big hole in the ground where my house was. <laughs> you know what you're doing with, with the computer, I'm sure. <laughs> I do, yeah, yeah I Hopefully. do. Never actually put a new motherboard in, though. Easy. Well... Yeah, I know, I have... The, the, the worst thing that I've ever time. done is upgrade the BIOS on a motherboard. Oh, I see. I do mine all the time. That is an absolute... Well... No, the, it's fine. No, I, oh, I upgraded well. my SSD the other week, didn't I? So, when you yeah. do it with an ASUS, you up, you upgrade the uh, you upgrade the BIOS and um, you do it the way it's supposed to say and then you switch it on and nothing happens. And it isn't until you've panicked and looked through loads of YouTube Love videos that. and then you find the tiny little bit in the manual that says you probably need to clear your CMOS. <laughs> See, I've never had that issue yet yeah. with board, this new one. Apparently, that's a thing with ASUS. So there's there's literally like a couple of pins, and you have to short them out just to clear the CMOS, and then it boots up perfect. But, uh, also, if you if you do, because I've got an ASUS motherboard, but if you if you triple boot an ASUS motherboard, you know, mm -hmm. it will and it it doesn't boot three times. It will then do it automatically anyway if it's done a firmware update. Right. Okay. So, just to let you know. Right. Well, have you, you know. have you given yourself no jobs to do now? Then? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, well, the problem is, I was going to cut that grass, but our mows are a bit big for anything else. So, uh, do you think they'd work on the Unimog? They did work on the Unimog. No, no they, they made the. No, they made the back. You tried oh. to put it on the back, and they made the back. It looked like it was a low rider, didn't it? It went, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it might. Well, yeah, okay. And if I put it on the front, it'll just wheelie. Um, right, okay. I'll go and find something to do. Should I go oh, and do you. some more road work around the uh, pasta factory? Yeah, you can do, actually. That's probably a good idea. Because okay. we could do with putting that track in, couldn't we? That we goes to the pasta factory. And actually, we need to check on the pasta anyway. Yeah. Okay. And see what me. we've got. Because are we putting another production in today? Moving some mm, more stuff? Or not? I don't know if we'll have the money. We've only got 60,000. Um, and the other production that we want to do is 95,000. So probably not. Oh, because it's, it's the other factory, isn't it? It's the yeah, other factory for maize flour. Yeah, it's quite expensive, really. Uh, right, how am I... Yeah, but it does mean that we can create another type of pasta. It does. Oh, we'll definitely do it. But, yeah, it's just a little bit... Oh, little bit do you want, if you've got anything to do, do you want to start taking down... Do you want to start marking some trees? Um, where, where where at? Well, where I am now. All right, okay. Do, do you want to start marking some trees on? Because in theory, if we if we if we felled a load of trees, 
in, yeah. into this field to make it easy to load, right? Right. It wouldn't actually make that a big problem, would it? Because we're not going to do anything in this field straight away. Because we're replacing, we're going to extend this field, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. So. Right. Well, I've just made a, a small start on this on this path over here, so. I'll just finish it off quickly and then give me some ideas about how we're going to do this because it's not exactly straightforward. It lies the best time for soybeans, isn't it, to sell? Something like that, yeah. But are we not putting soy... Is soybeans not going to our new pasta factory? No, we worked out the soy pasta. When you look at the price, it's actually less. Ah, okay. Right than what you get for soybeans normally. So the problem you're going to get is obviously by the time you pay production cost. Yeah. There's not really much point. I mean, the whole thing was trying to get rid of the flour out of that chuffing factory. And, and it'd be, it's nice to know that the distributings work very well with that pasta That's, factory, yeah. doesn't it? Because I think there's a pasta factory at like 27,000 litres and we've got nothing to unload. It's... And we did... We, we did clear everything out of that factory, didn't we? We did, yeah. All right. Oh, I know what you need to do, actually. Oh, I can do, actually. Got a Go little on. bit left. When I've done this, I need to um, put some more sorghum in the flour mill, sir. Yeah, and we're probably going to need to feed the pigs again. Okay, I can do that in a minute, because okay. I'm literally on the last tiny little bit with the combine. Okay. That is done. Right, well, I've made a, I've made a little bit of the path in. We'll see how it goes. What uh, have you... Is that into the um, pasta factory? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Are you still near the Unimog, just in thing yeah. mode? Yeah. Right, okay, because I didn't know if you got stuck or something. Right. So, so I think... The right point without crashing. No, that's not that one. See this Nearly. one? Texture, there we go. There we go. Perfect. As you can see, all our we... pasta here. Um, and if you get right up, there's some great detail on those. I'll have to come over there in a minute and have a look. Yeah. Okay. I've got 2,000 litres to go. Okay. 1,500. Done. Super. Thank you very much, sir. Right, I'll go and stick this in the silo and then... I'll let you go first and I'll follow you down to... Load this on. Okay. I'll let you lead because the hitch is there, but you should be able to get round. And then I'll fold this up. Yeah, I think we need, need probably join these fields together if we, because that took what about seven or eight minutes to do that. Yeah, it's really quick, isn't it? And this is not with the biggest combine. And when we get really shifting, then we're gonna, you know, we are, we are gonna put the auto load mod on we yeah. have it on but i just need to edit i need to edit a trailer so it actually works with it <laughs> yeah okay that's folded the combine all right that's right. that empty uh should i put some more sorghum into the flour mill yes please yeah yeah i think that's a good idea because i was going to say i'll do it but uh you might as well put some more sorghum in and then take some pig food out. Yeah, will do. And uh, I shall bring the header back and that allow you to do it. And then I'll see what the John Deere is doing and I've got a pasta factory as well. Oh, so that, was, else. that was nice. 14,918 litres I stopped it on. Really? Hmm. Nice. That's good then, mate. Can't fault that. No. Reactions of a of an old man. cat. It, well, <laughs> yeah, it would have to be old. Well, you're older than me, so it's fine. Yeah. There we go. Right, and then I'll get the pig food. Right, I will get the eye chair. So how much pig food Here have we, we got? 6,600 litres. I'll need to switch that sorghum flour back on. Yeah, we need to get that. Okay. Because I think we... Are we doing okay for... Are we full on our pigs now? Then? 
I think we're full, but I think we're I think we're struggling to keep up with them. I think they're just yeah. and so eating more than we can feed them. Right. Uh, so we'll probably have to keep an eye on this. You know, ruggles with his header up this up there. That was funny. I'll let you go first. Thank you. I need to put this track in as well, by the way. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Turn this into a proper proper road as well, don't we? Mm -hmm. Really. Need to go on. Ooh, we didn't like that. <laughs> um, I have to go and have a look and see how our work is getting on. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that if you want. Okay. Don't worry, because I'm I'm pretty much out of job, so I was gonna put this head in near the near the thingy and leave it for you to reverse in. No problem. If you don't. Yeah. Oh god, that looks terrible. Really? Oh, it's it's a disaster. I don't know what's going on there. It's, it's hardly done any of it. What is that? What is that doing? I do not know. They, you know I wonder what? if we've messed up a setting somewhere in the. I don't know. Cause I've, I've never done it for. Oh what is going on there? It's made it back again. I know. I mean, I've I, I I've done that with other fields. Okay. I've had I've had cosplay do it. So. Okay, let's just let's just stop it a minute, and just see if me doing this fixes this problem because I just saw it go backwards and a little bit of a, a little bit of grass returned yeah well that that's what it was sense. that's what it was doing before it was going forward it was marking out the grass and then the grass would just reappear right okay but when you drive it it's fine it doesn't miss a single bit and so LT four there we go. Right, okay. So, I don't That's know what it is. That's the weirdest thing ever. Isn't it just? But when right. I come up to stuff that it's done, yeah, it's redrawing it as grass again. Right, okay. I don't know then. Um, so, I don't know what's going on here. But, I mean, it has it has done it. it has done sections. So, yeah. There's something wrong on this part of this feel because isn't this where we had the problem with the baler as well yeah the baler was doing weird things but i did put that down to the fact the mower had been on the front when it should really be on the back that's what i kind of put okay. that down to but hmm. oh well looks like we're gonna have to do this ourselves yeah well, i mean let me get to a point and then we'll probably do this off camera i think okay yeah i mean I'll we can what, do me... I'll, I'll do it and i'll do it as a jump cut if you want yeah okay um yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it like that. Yeah, I'll do it as a jump cut. I'll leave you to do something else then, I suppose. Do you want to do some tree cutting or something? Okay, I'll go and knock down some trees over by those rocks. Yeah, the backside of that field just harvested. Yeah, I think so. If you work yeah. out where you think it's going to be best, and okay. probably paint the forest texture. If that makes sense. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously, then we know what we're doing, and we can. We don't have to finish it, do we? We can just no, take some no. trees down. Yeah. Sort it out because we don't. To be honest, we're not really sure what we're going to get. We're not even sure what we're going to get in the next episode, do we? No. We're going to have some but bread to sell, finish... but that's about it. Yeah, but we could finish this field off in the next episode, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we could do. Actually, we we could finish this field off a little bit, do some log loading, sell the bread, get this field turned over. What we're going to do? Put oats in, aren't we? For a quick. Yeah, we want we want something quick. Yeah. So. Okay, that makes sense. Oats right, I will take them. this. I'll take this to a jump cut and I'll see everybody when it's all done. Yeah, and I'll... Uh, well, what I might do is just let you all laugh at me reversing that header in. Go on, do it. You know you want to. Uh, I'm going to use the Valtra because I can hitch it up to the front. Just stick that away. So here we go. I'm going to do this in one, no problems. Have we got the right hitch on? No, yet? you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
right, where's it going? It's going there. Of course, this one steers front and rear, so it's very sensitive. Oh my god, it is sensitive. Oh, I nearly did it in one. Have we got small stones or not on this? I think there's one section where it started and it actually did um, some big stones when the worker set off. There we go. That's all right. Blind man on a horse wouldn't notice. Right, so I'll go and start doing some trees, I think. Sounds like a plan. Right, Malk, I am on to the last... Oh, damn it. I'm on to the last bit, apart from that little bit there. <laughs> okay. um, this took quite a bit longer than I anticipated, but um, how's Did... the forestry going? The forestry? Well, I've made a little start. Um... A little? Are you sure? He <laughs> might have about six or seven a... trees. Or I think there's a tornado been through here. But yeah. Um, <laughs> really? All <laughs> oh, right. I thought you'd probably done about. I thought you'd done six or seven. Put your feet up. Had a cup of tea. Got the barbie going. No. Got some beers I've, out. Um, I've 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 been a, a busy little boy doing all this. Yeah. So right. how's it look now then? I mean, it looks like we could still take more trees out, but. Um, for me. I don't well, know. Well, I'd, I'd have to. Go, I'd have to look little. look from the air. So let me have a quick look from the air and see what it looks like. Um, um, oh, we've still got loads to go up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> God. Okay. How's the what? I was going to say, how's the stone situation looking on this new bit? Uh, oh, let me have a look. Please. Because I've got two little bits left. I don't so know what there the are a, play was doing. There's a couple of bits. Uh, let me see. So there's a couple of red... So they're the big stones, and there's a few mediums just dotted around the place. It wouldn't take long to pick them up, though. So, um, yeah, we could do that maybe off camera. Just clicked up those ones. Yeah, okay. Well, I've got this little bit to do now. I can have a quick check on the pasta factory, and I'll come over and see what you've been doing. Oh, well, I'll beat you over at the pasta factory then, should I? Yeah, can do, mate. Okay. Big flashes. Oh, he's put the... Oh, yes. That's not bad, mate, yeah. That'll like work, won't it? Yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how we'll oh, get the... Oh, there's well, a tree stump there. Yeah, there's a couple there's of tree, tree stumps. Stump. Um, I don't know what it'd be like getting an Arctic in and out of here. Oh, there's still some eggs here. Can I pick those up? I can't. Oh, oh. oh there we go, goodness. they've how gone. How much pasta we got here? Let's have a look. I haven't... Well, okay. Oh, it's coming, out. It's coming yeah. out the front. Yeah, so I was just yeah. saying how the detail on these pallets is, is really, really good. Oh, yeah, penne... Farfell. Fusilli. Fusilli. Mm. It's Fusilli, isn't it? I have no idea. F U S I W L I Fusilli. And okay. Penne. Taglia Telly Al Uover. Hey, up, who's over? Who's, <laughs> who's out? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, <laughs> but that's going to be. Like... That's going to make us a nice bit of money in next month. It is, that is, yeah. Mm. Probably, yeah, that'll be pretty good, that will. Hopefully I'll get the trailer changed by then and we can actually load that up. So, right, well, I think we'll probably call this episode done. Um, yeah. We're not done a massive amount, but we've got some... We're making progress again, once again. We are making some more progress, so that's good. Next episode we'll make some big improvements, I think. Yeah, should do, hopefully. So, mm -hmm. hopefully everybody has enjoyed this episode. Remember, if you have a like it on both channels, watch it on both channels. If you are new to either side, please subscribe. We do massively appreciate you joining us, and we, we do. hope you do it again soon. Many thanks. See you later.